Welcome to Flash Editorials for January 6th, 2013. I am Russell Longcore, the owner and editor of DumpDC.com. Now, Flash Editorials is presented by www.DumpDC.com. DumpDC is a world leader in secessionist thought. We show the world that secession is the only hope for individual, uh, sorry, personal liberty and property rights on this planet. Now, uh, let's go to the news. Let's make this quick. In the nation, President Steppenfetchit and Congress created a crisis back in 2011 when they faced a debt ceiling deadline. They could not bring themselves to refuse to allow more borrowing, so they increased the debt, and they could not possibly consider massive spending cuts voluntarily. So they kicked the can down the road by allowing an increase in the debt ceiling while creating an artificial deadline on December 31st, 2012, at which hundreds of billions of dollars would be sequestered from no budget at the same time that the, quote, Bush tax cuts, end quote, expired. Now, one of the big reasons that this became a fiscal cliff is the refusal of Congress to make any laws permanent like the Bush tax cuts. But this behavior on both sides of the aisle in Congress is consistent with their behavior over the last four years. If you don't know, uh, if you've been living under a rock somewhere, Congress has been running this country on continuing resolutions for the last mm, at least three years, maybe four. Uh, there's not a budget that's been passed for this fiscal year. Our Congress has not passed a budget in all that time, and the Constitution requires them to do so. <laughs> Constitution. What a joke. I'm sorry. Uh, at this contrived crisis, crisis created, created exclusively by Congress to scare the American people, the sheep, the sheeple, into accepting a massive tax increase, this contrived crisis has now been also kicked down the road another couple of months. Ladies and gentlemen, this example of congressional malfeasance and misfeasance should prove to you that... Uh, Washington is not fixable. You will get more spending and more debt and more uh, fiat money until such time as the entire system collapses. And then you will get the blame for not paying enough taxes. I'll just go ahead and say it. If you do not support state secession after all that you've seen in 2012, you are just an idiot. In international news, my predictions for 2013 is that Asia is going to lead the world even in a bigger way than it has so far. Uh, America is in eclipse and Asia is in ascent. Between China, Japan, the Koreas, India, Indonesia, Indonesia and Malaysia, uh, about 50% of the world's population is represented. Now the 800 pound gorilla in the room is China. After the economic reforms of Deng Xiaoping uh, and his statement, quote, to get rich is glorious, end quote, the Communist Party has embraced capitalism like never before. China has enjoyed double-digit growth over the last probably 20 years and have created a middle class that is larger than the entire population of the United States. Likewise, India's middle class is larger than the entire population of the United States. And folks, they are now consumers and they are feeling all the desires and demands that consumers feel and all the desires that they feel. And they're meeting those desires. They want consumer goods. And China is also now the world's largest holder of gold and India is not far behind. Now, uh, if you, if you want to see something about the Asian pivot, uh, scroll down here and you'll see a link in the body of this text or else just go to dumpdc.com, look in the archive and look for the article entitled The Asian Pivot Has Already Happened. And now watch what happens next. In the economy. Now this is, this is unbelievable. The number of actual initial unemployment claims filed under state programs unadjusted, that means that the that the Labor Department didn't cook the books. Total, get this, 495,588 for the week ending uh, de December 29th. Now, that's an increase of 40,459 over the previous, re oh, pre previous week. Dear readers, 
This is just shy of a half million new unemployment claims in last week, seven days. If you're one of those people who are now unemployed, seriously consider starting a home business. Really, th think about it. Is there any better time than now? Uh, you can't say that you don't have time. Uh, it doesn't take any money to get started, not if you do it uh, my way. So if, here's what I want like you to do. Uh, go once again, go down, scroll down into the uh, into the head, headline that says economy. There's a link there and go to the website called www.portableonlinebusiness.com. That's portableonlinebusiness.com and just look around and see what you see. You'll get a lot more details and you'll, you'll be in a situation where you could actually start a home business. And that leads us to the business uh, section of our broadcast today. Now in my business, I interview a lot of people and I find that I get one, the, I get one main excuse why people will not start a home business. Care to guess what that might be? Da 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 Okay, never mind. Uh, here's the excuse. I don't have time. I'm already too busy. Well, what I've discovered over the years of interviewing is that the no time excuse really means that the person simply doesn't believe that this home business opportunity is actually going to generate some income. Now you think about your own situation and let's play a little game. Uh, you commit to giving me one hour a day for six days a week. Uh, it doesn't have to be the whole hour. It could be 20 minutes here, five minutes here, 10 minutes here. But you give me a total of one hour every day for six days. And at the end of that week where you give me six total hours, I will send you an envelope containing six crisp, clean, beautiful $100 bills. And I'll do this for you as long as you like in the future. Infinitely, ad infinitum, as long as you want to do it. Now, who among you at the, in that kind of a situation would not find one hour? I mean, you, uh, if, you, if you spent a few minutes less on Facebook, you might find an hour. If you spent a little bit less time Twittering, you might find an hour. If you didn't spend, if you took, if you had to lose an hour of sleep, wouldn't it be worth a hundred bucks? I mean, think about it. How many of you folks are, 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 are making a hundred bucks an hour now? Well, I'm not suggesting for a moment that we're going to make that, that deal, but my point is you might, you might actually uh, buy that deal because you believe that it actually is going to happen. But you might not believe that your home off, that your home business uh, might happen. And so uh, I get the excuse, well, you know, I'm too busy. And most of the people that I've ever talked to uh, that are successful in my business, which is internet marketing, direct sales, network marketing, were the busiest people you ever, you ever found. There were the 75, 80 hour a week people that were desperate to get out of 75 or 80 hours a week and they wanted to get their life back. You know, they wanted to see their family more. They wanted to go on vacations. They wanted to have, they wanted to have a life and not just work so that they could eat, so that they could work, so that they could eat, so that they could work, so that they could eat. You get what I'm saying? So, in, uh, but, but, but let me ask you this. If you, if you could find a business that was pretty much automated where it did the leads for you, found you people to talk to, uh, brought them through a system where they pretty much qualified themselves, uh, made the sales for you. In other words, it was mostly automated. Wouldn't that be something that was interesting to you? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that change your mind about having a home business? And best of all, the business that I'm suggesting is on the leading edge of a new trend in business, which is called social commerce. Now, you can, you can, you can start a business of your own doing anything, but isn't it better to find something that's on the lead edge of a trend rather than on the, on the back end of a trend? I mean, do, you know, don't, don't open a storefront uh, selling pagers. You know why? Because nobody uses pagers anymore. Don't sell, a, don't sell a, the great big bricks that we used to call cell phones. They don't use them anymore. But social commerce is the new future and it's right now. So here's what I want you to do. Go down in the, in, in the uh, 
uh, the part that's marked business in the section marked business, and there is a there's a link there called the 8K system, and click on that link and learn how you can have an automated business run from the comfort of your home. Now in sports, the NFL playoffs begin this weekend. Actually, they begin uh, they began Friday night with a wild card round uh, Friday night. There are four games, and here are my picks for the weekend. Washington is going to beat Seattle. Houston is going to beat Cincinnati. The Vikings are going to beat the Packers. And the Ravens are going to beat the Colts. Now, let's see how good I am at picking winners. And finally, in entertainment news, in the wake of the Connecticut mass murders, a bunch of Hollywood actors made a video calling for gun control. You may have seen that video. Uh, someone, somebody, although, oh, sorry, somebody noticed that all the actors in the video had made violent movies in which they were using guns. And so that special somebody made another video. Uh, the response video shows the various actors speaking against gun violence, but features a still photo from the movie in which the actor was toting a gun. The mind-numbing hypocrisy is typical of an industry that's based in fantasy. Here's an industry that creates super violent movies and games and says that their product does not affect behavior. But advertisers line up to pay a couple million dollars for a 30 second Super Bowl ad in a bid to get the viewer to buy his product. In other words, to change his behavior. And that's only in 30 seconds. Can you imagine that a, hour, that a two hour movie does not affect the behavior of a human being that watches it? That's just, that's just poppycock. Who's crazy here? Now, here's the question. I mean, a, lot of, a lot of this I've seen, they say, well, boycott those actors. Well, I'm not gonna boycott those actors. Hell no. That's because I love guns and I love it when they're used in film, even when hypocrites use them. Now, I've also, in, in the section in this article, down at the bottom where you see the uh, section uh, entertainment, I've added a link so that you can actually watch that response video. So go ahead and scroll down there and find that and watch it. It's fascinating. It's only just a few minutes, a couple, couple minutes, something like that. Well, folks, that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Russell Longcore. For all of us here at Dump DC, good night and good luck. Dump DC, six letters that will change history. Copyright 2013, Russell D. Longcore. Permission to reprint in whole or in part is gladly granted, providing full credit is given. Good night and uh, good luck.